Download this code from codegive.com, link in the description below. Centering a DIV element using Flexbox is a straightforward process that allows for responsive design and alignment without the need for complex calculations or positioning. Below, you'll find an informative tutorial that covers the essentials of centering a DIV both vertically and horizontally using Flexbox, along with a code example. Step 1. Understanding Flexbox Flexbox, flexible box layout, is a layout model in CSS that provides an efficient way to arrange elements within a container. It allows for flexible and responsive layouts, making it easier to align items. Step 2. Setting up your HTML structure To center a DIV, you need an outer container that will be a flex container and an inner DIV that you want to center. Here's a simple HTML structure. Step 3. Applying CSS styles Now, let's add CSS styles that will turn the outer DIV into a flex container and center the inner DIV. Step 4. Explanation of the code 1. HTML structure a parent DIV with the class flex container acts as the flex container. The child DIV with the class centered DIV is the content we want to center. 2 CSS styles. Display, flex, this sets the flex container to use the flexbox layout model. Justify content, center, this aligns the child elements, the centered DIV, horizontally in the center of the flex container. Align items, center, this aligns the child elements vertically in the center of the flex container. Height, 100 vh, this makes the flex container take the full height of the viewport, allowing vertical centering. Additional styles for centered DIV provide aesthetics, such as background color, padding, and rounded corners. Step 5, Result when you open the HTML file in a browser, you will see the centered content text perfectly centered in the middle of the viewport, both horizontally and vertically. Conclusion Using Flexbox to center a DIV is efficient and requires minimal code. This approach works well for responsive designs, and you can easily adapt it to center multiple elements or change the layout as needed. Feel free to experiment with the CSS properties to see how they affect the layout.